Just started out with hello and welcome. Hello, YouTube. Yeah. My name is Zach with Rider Shack, and today I'm going to be helping you guys out with buying your first U surfboard. <laughs> buying a U surfboard can be a great way to save money, but can be a really difficult task if you don't know what you're looking for. Today we're going to go over how to buy a U surfboard, where to buy a U surfboard, and things to look out for before you make the big purchase. Sorry. The most important part about buying a used surfboard is being honest with yourself about your ability and your skill level, because buying a wrong surfboard could lead to a bad experience. Three great places to find used surfboards are garage sales, classified ads, and your local surf shop. Garage sales are a great place to find a hidden gem, but they're often inconsistent. Buying a used surfboard online or through a classified ad is a great way to get a great deal. The problem is that it's hard to gauge the quality of a board without seeing it in person. The pros of going to a surf shop is that there's a higher quality of boards and that there's workers that are knowledgeable and experienced that can help you make your decision on buying a used surfboard. The cons are that it might be a little bit more expensive. Here are some things to consider when buying your first used surfboard. Pressure dings, while purely cosmetic, can give you a great idea on how often the board was used before it was sold. When buying a used surfboard, you should always check the fin boxes to make sure that they're not broken, that the screws aren't stripped, and to check the quality of previous repairs. Like this. This one was broken in the past, but they had a professionally done repair, and it's good as new. Oh, discoloration. Okay, discoloration or waterlogging. We have a discolored board. Sometimes boards that have been left in the sun too long can turn yellow. Small hairline cracks like this aren't generally a problem, but if it can catch your nail or a fingernail, then it usually means that the board is taking on water. Small cracks and dings can be easily repaired with things like Session Saver or Sun Cure. To summarize, am I getting paid for this? The best place to find a used surfboard is going to be at your local surf shop. When looking out for your first used surfboard, always look out for ding repairs, pressure dings, fin boxes, and buckles. This looks like it was a cool board before it broke though, to be fair. Thanks for watching and check us out on our website, ridershack.com or our Instagram.